This year we were fortunate to stay in Casa Viento and we found that this particular house is very central in location in the resort. It was really easy getting to all the restaurants, pools, and even the beach. It was also equipped with this lovely little plunge pool, which the kids really enjoyed having that at their disposal. My favorite part about this room was this little path through a bit of the jungle, and it would take you to the main pool area. The pool at Casa Viento is pretty deep, so make sure that your kids are equipped with their floating devices before they jump in. There's also a small waiting pool here that is also connected to some of the suites with plunge pools. Also look out for your house's full service bar. One of my favorite features about the location of our room was being right next to this beautiful cenote and river. There was a little hidden water slide, but the trick was finding the location of the path to get to the water slide, which we eventually found. Sadly, it was after checkout, so we didn't get to use it, but it was a pretty cool little hidden secret treasure for that area. Our room was located on the first floor, but if you took the elevator all the way up to the fifth floor, you would find a circuit of bridges that will lead you to different areas of the resort. This particular bridge took us all the way to Spiral and also towards the beach. We maybe should have brought our map. As we were crossing this bridge, I noticed a set of pools and later I noticed a little restaurant hidden down where the cenote was. And I found out that that was Teatro del Rio. The stage is right across from the cenote. And when this area is lit up, it is absolutely stunning. They have a fire pit and lots of purple from the stage, blue lights from underneath the water from the cenote, and it is just absolutely breathtaking. You have to see it for yourself. By the way, if you're new to our channel, we are the Winder family, and we specialize in budget-friendly travel for families with smaller kids. We're a newer channel, so if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We have many videos to come. This is our beginning truck up to the top of Spiral, which is also one of the houses. And it's quite a journey up. There is a road that encircles all the way up to the top, but there are also a set of stairs, well, several set of stairs that can take you up as a bit of a shortcut. Um, it took a lot of energy to get up there, but it is worth the view. Here you can see they're finishing up Hotel Escaret Arte which will be an additional 900 suites opening up in July of 2021, right in front of the Caribbean Sea. And this area will be available for ages 16 years and older. My daughter had to motivate me all the way up to the top, but 
no motivation was needed once you get up there. I mean, you could see everything, all of the resort, all of the beach, and you could even take pictures all the way at the top for a stunning view in the background. Of course, once you get to the absolute top, you have the beautiful cathedral sitting at the very pinnacle of the building, and the, the views are a full 360 degree view of the entire area. It's absolutely gorgeous, and the architecture inside of the building was even more stunning. Pretty cool features also available at additional cost are things like speedboat rides, parasailing, and jet skis. Of course, these are additional costs, and if you're interested in booking any of these, speak with a concierge and they will give you pricing for all of these different activities at the beach. the first time we visited Hotel Eshkaret, so we were really excited to find out that they offer an all plant-based restaurant. And this is Biobar. They offer quick smoothies and fresh squeezed juices on the go and are open during the same hours as the restaurant. If you're interested in learning more about the food and beverage that we experienced on our trip here, Make sure you look out for our next video, which will cover all of the restaurants that we dined in, my personal favorites from each menu, and my reviews, my honest reviews on all of the food and drinks that I got an op opportunity to try. sometimes hesitating to walk through these little paths that draw your curiosity but don't never hesitate to just go ahead and check it out because there's always going to be something amazing on the other side so make sure that you never deny your curiosity on this property
quiet little cove full of these little caves. And my guess is they used to have hanging hammocks in these little areas prior to COVID. Hopefully they'll bring them back. If you're wondering if there are fish in these little rivers, you better believe it. There is so much natural life just flowing through the entire area. We even spotted spider monkeys in random trails and plenty of beautiful parrots and birds. We even saw flamingos in one of the caves, which was pretty cool. And one of the things that I was really impressed by this property is their tireless efforts for keeping the areas cleaned and maintained. There's always somebody in the rivers pulling something out, such as leaves or debris or anything that might be uninviting to the water. They want to make sure you feel as comfortable as possible to get in the water and are never afraid to step into the natural environment. They also have some of the cleanest restrooms at a resort I've ever experienced. With so much water in the area, you would think that there would be murky floors, but nope, always spotless. And of course, here is the famous octopus slide. And each arm caters to a different level of adventure depending on what level your children are at. And there are even smaller arms for infants and toddlers, and also a shallow area for waiting for, for the babies. It's pretty cool. And one of the arms, unfortunately, was out of order at this time, probably due to maintenance. As you can see, Eddie kind of trying to figure out why he can't go up that one. <laughs> But um, make sure you check this pool out. Our kids ended up staying there for hours. And there's even a rock wall climbing um, kind of fountain that they can climb up, scan to take a picture, and it'll capture their fall on the way down. And the pool is pretty deep, so life vests are definitely recommended for this one. After the pool, the sun began to come out and it was a gorgeous day, so we headed over to the beach. And here is a lovely view of the cenotes, the beachfront, as well as the beachfront pool, which is connected to Trahaneras Swim Up Bar and Restaurant. Trahaneras is a grill and buffet. Not my favorite restaurant, but it was my favorite to visit just for the view. I will go over more of that in the next video on the food and beverage at the, re at the hotel, so stay tuned for that. at Hotel Eshkera sadly had red flags so we were unable to enjoy the beachfront but we did enjoy the views of it gorgeous views the water is beautiful to look at and the sandy beaches are still available but unfortunately it's not the best place to swim 
but that's the reason why they build so many water options for you at this resort is because the beach is not always friendly to get in, but there are many options for water adventure. Thank you everyone for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We have many more videos coming up about Hotel Ashgaret and future trips that we will take, so stay tuned.